is my home gym here. Uh, it's, it's not a lot, you know, it's just here in my apartment. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys around, uh, show you all the equipment that I have and why I got this equipment, you know, what I kind of got first. Um, so if you're interested in home gyms, then stick around to the very end. You know, definitely gonna try to make this practical for you if you wanna start your own home gym. Kind of talk about, you know, what you should invest in first, um, you know, the why and the how on choosing your equipment for your home gym. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I first started building my home gym around uh, COVID time. Uh, and you know, I had my garage gym. I used to work in a gym and then the gym shut down. Uh, and I literally started running my, my personal training business out of my garage at the time. So I needed equipment. So the first things that I got and the first things that, you know, I would probably suggest investing in is first thing, the very first thing you want to get is an adjustable bench. Um, and I've got this just regular Adidas adjustable bench here. It's really simple, uh, but all you need is something that can both incline and decline so that you can do like incline presses, but then also, you know, decline weighted sit-ups, things like that. Um, so you definitely want an adjustable bench. I would say, you know, if, if you're really super minimal, the very first thing you want to get is actually a pair of resistance bands. I've got clients that literally train from home. All we do with them is body weight and resistance band training. And you can actually make really good results just with that. But yeah, so that, that would be like the very first thing if you're just trying to be as minimal as possible. You just want to be able to work out from home sometimes or, you know, honestly all the time, you know, if you're someone that just wants to work out at home and you're really minimal, you can get the job done with resistance bands and body weight training. Um, so that would be the, like, the very most minimal thing that you can do. But outside of that, you know, if you're wanting to kind of start investing and build a home gym, then the incline bench is the very first thing that I would get. And then along with that, you would want to get dumbbells. So as you can see here, I've got a, a dumbbell rack that my my dad actually helped make with me. Um, so it's a, just a regular wooden dumbbell rack here. And it's really cool. I like the way it looks in here. Um, but I've got like regular dumbbells and I got these at Fitness Depot for around 75 cents a pound, which is ridiculously, it's a, that's a really good deal. You can't find uh, dumbbells for that cheap anymore. Um, but I've got regular dumbbells. What I would suggest if you're just getting started is probably an adjustable dumbbell set. So adjustable dumbbells is probably gonna be a better option for most people, uh, just so you don't have to spend as much because it's well over pretty much a dollar per pound usually with, with regular dumbbells like this. Uh, but I got the regular um, rubber dumbbells, which are really great. You can drop them, everything like that. I've got everything from five up into uh, 55 on the dumbbells in five pound increments. And then I've got a pair of 75 and a pair of 95 for heavier things that I do with the dumbbells. So that's my dumbbell set. So really guys, um, an adjustable bench and dumbbells, you can do so much with that. You can do, you can hit all your muscle groups. You can do compound and isolation movements. I mean, dumbbells and adjustable bench, you can do a whole lot with that. So if you're just wanting to be minimal, you know, but be a little bit more than just a resistance band and body weight training, then an adjustable bench and dumbbells is what I would suggest for you. So that's probably number one, but let's keep going. So kind of the next things that I got, um, or the next things that I would suggest for you, if you're wanting to keep building your home gym is going to be a really solid squat rack. Okay. So this is super solid. I think it was like $800 for this squat rack. Um, so this is like a really solid, just big piece of metal squat rack that I got also at Fitness Depot in Houston. Um, and I actually got a few attachments for it. So like a dip attachment. Uh, and I got also um, spotter arms as well if I'm benching by myself. So that is the squat rack. Definitely would suit us having a solid squat rack for yourself. And then, um, and a regular solid bench. So like a regular flat bench. Not sure if you can see it here in the video, but just a regular flat, you know, bench. You can find that online. Usually that's going to be a hundred to 200 bucks for just a flat regular bench. Cause, um, 
you know, if you've got the adjustable bench, that's good. It's good to have two, um, and it's good to have a really solid one for for benching. Because honestly, I wouldn't trust that Adidas adjustable bench with if I'm going super heavy on bench press. Okay, um, so uh, squat rack, flat bench, and then obviously you need barbells for that. So you can get a regular cat barbell for around 100, 200 bucks. You can find a decent one there. Um, I've actually got, and I'll, I'll bring it out here in a second. Um, so let me go ahead, I'm gonna bring it out right now. All right, so the very first barbell that I purchased was this cat barbell. Oh geez, it was this cat barbell. Not sure if you can see the logo on there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty old. So uh, this is the first barbell that I purchased and it was around, sorry, um, one to two hundred dollars and it's just a pretty basic barbell you know it's good to get you started um, decent knurling just cap barbell is what you'll want to uh, search on the on Amazon or on the internet um, and you'll find that you want to make sure you get a 45 pound dumbbell um, six to seven feet long I think it's seven feet long I believe um, but yeah pretty durable it's lasting me a long time I actually love to deadlift with this one because it's got pretty good grip, pretty good knurling, and I like the width of the bar. Um, so, so that one's pretty good. Uh, that'll get you, you know, 99% of the population, you'll be okay with something like that. Uh, I did splurge and I got this uh, Texas squat bar. So it's this Texas powerlifting squat bar. It's a little bit heavier. Um, so it's 55 pounds compared to the 45 pound barbell. Uh, but yeah, really what this is mostly good for is squatting. It's what it's basically built for. That's why it's called the Texas squat bar. But uh, I wouldn't really suggest benching or deadlifting with this one. It's really mostly for squatting. Uh, but I would say the next purchase I am gonna get is gonna be a more solid, uh, more versatile barbell. Um, something like maybe an Ohio power bar or maybe even a, a deadlift Texas deadlift bar um, for my deadlifting because because I'm pretty serious about deadlifting but for a more versatile barbell I'd probably suggest something like the Ohio power bar um, that's that's a really good versatile overall powerlifting bar so that's that uh, definitely get yourself a good barbell the next thing from there is obviously the weights for the barbell right and you know I would highly suggest trying to get this uh, your regular weights, you know, from something like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, find it kind of second hand. Um, what I did for my, my very first set of weights, I, I splurged a little bit on that too, and I went ahead and got bumper plates, but I would highly suggest getting bumper plates. You know, you could probably find the bumper plates on something like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, but bumper plates is gonna be a lot better for a home gym. Um, so that when you're slamming and dropping weight on the ground, it's not gonna damage the floor, it's not gonna damage the weights. So bumper plates is really the way to go for a home gym. So what I got, man, these are 55 pounders right here, uh, but it's called High Impact Xmark Bumper Plates here. I got these on Amazon a while back, um, but they're really good. They're actually made from retired, <laughs> retired, recycled tires. Um, so they're made from recycled tires. Um, so they've got really good solid rubber in it. So it's just really good for a home gym. You can drop them, I drop them with my deadlifts. Even when I was doing more Olympic lifts, you can drop them from way up high from jerks overhead or snatches, anything like that. But highly suggest getting, getting bumper plates at least for your 45s so that when you're dropping weights, you don't damage the weights and you don't damage the floor, okay? For everything else, uh, it's fine to get metal plates for things like fives and tens. I'm gonna show you guys right here what I've got as far as a weight tree, um, but we've got quite a bit of weight, as you can see. You know, I don't wanna run out of weight if I'm doing really heavy deadlifts, stuff like that, or even if I've had people in the past work out with me in my home gym. Um, so we've got probably, honestly, at this point, um, we've probably got a total of a thousand pounds of pure weight here. Um, you know, we've got, let's see, one, two, 
three, like four pairs of 45s. We've got 55s. Um, we've got tons of 10s, 5s, uh, two or three pairs of 25s, a pair of 35s. So we've, we've got quite a bit of weight here. Um, but what I would start with is a pair of 45s, a pair of 25s, 10, 5, 2.5. Okay, that's going to allow you to do 99% of what you want to do. Okay, and then you can build from there. But you definitely need weight with your barbells. So yeah, that honestly, what I've talked about so far, that's going to get 99% of the population. That like that's all you really need for a home gym. Okay, everything else is pretty much icing on the cake. Um, what I would like to have in the future is a, a cable crossover so you can do a lot more isolation movements like pec flies and stuff like that. Right now I'm just doing those type of things with my resistance bands in here, but a cable, it, it's just, that would change the game. So that, that's something you could really splurge on, something I'll probably splurge on in the future when I have a bigger setup, obviously, I'm just here in my, my living room of my apartment. Um, but let's talk about some of the other stuff I have. So I've got kettlebells. Um, kettlebells are great for just quick circuit training, things like that. Um, I, I know a lot of people, they can just get full workouts from kettlebells, but you really can. Um, so just see what I got here. These are also from Fitness Depot. I've got 60, a 60 pounder. Great for kettlebell swing, stuff like that. Um, we've got a 60 pounder. We've got an 80 pounder. We've got a big boy over there. And then we also have something that you can use to convert any dumbbell to a kettlebell if you wanted to. It's called a kettle grip. Okay, so this thing latches onto any dumbbell. It's pretty cool. Um, shout out to Garage Gym Reviews, which I've binged like so many <laughs> garage gym videos. Um, so that's, you know, I love, I, I, I nerd out on garage gyms. So hopefully if you're watching this and you're this far in, you're, they're the same way. Uh, but I, Follow Garage Gym Reviews if you are uh, interested in garage gyms or building your own. That's a really good place to start to kind of see what good investments you can make um, and just like what you feel like would be best for you as far as investing in your home gym. That thing's really cool. If you don't want to get kettlebells and you already have dumbbells, that's a great way to convert all of your dumbbells into kettlebells if you wanted to. So really cool. Um, so yeah. Let's see what else. We got slam balls and a medicine ball. So the difference between the two, slam balls are built with tread and they're good for literally sitting on the ground and they stop on the ground like that. Um, but then medicine balls are more for things like wall balls or you know the stuff that you don't want to slam on the ground because it's not built for that. We got those. We've also got battle ropes. Yeah, we've even got battle ropes. Don't really use them in here just because there's not much room. Um, but th those are cool for circuit training, things like that. Um, we've got a tree over here that holds the clips for the barbells. Uh, belt, you definitely want a solid belt in general. Uh, we've got <laughs> we've got Nicolas Cage pillow over there on the couch. Uh, we've got this cool um, poster. Shout out if you recognize this from the movie Dodgeball with Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn. Uh, and then we got my Fitness Junkie Training uh, poster there, or banner, and then just a wolf. So shout out to also my old client, Mike G. He gave me that wolf, because we used to call the garage gym the wolf's den. And then uh, he also gave me a lot of these secondhand uh, weights that I have. So shout out to you, Big Mike G, if you're watching this. Um, I appreciate you. You definitely, uh, contributed to, to the home gym. So cool, so that, that's a lot of the, the things that I have. I'm gonna show you the gym flooring and the platform that me and my old roommate built. But for that, I need to kind of turn the camera around so we'll do kind of a commentary style for those things. Um, so let's do it. All right, so first things first, we've got horse stall mats here. Um, so I think we've got eight rubber horse stall mats and horse stall mats are 100% the way to go for gym flooring uh, for both cost efficiency and just they're super durable, super good. So you can get these at Tractor Supply. That's where I got mine. Uh, but they're just the, I believe, uh, four by six, I believe, four by six. It's either four by six or four by eight feet 
um, horse stall mats. And yeah, you can just lay them on the floor, super simple. So that's what we have as far as gym flooring. And then me and my old roommate, shout out to you, Dylan. Uh, we, we went ahead and built this fitness junkie training platform that we got here. Super cool, proud of how this turned out, really awesome. Really good to do deadlifting and Olympic lifts on. Um, really cool to have, you know, basically an Olympic style platform in here. So this is just plywood. So there's a slab on the bottom. Not sure if you can tell, you know, there's one big slab on the bottom and there's this middle slab here. And then we've just got two, or it's actually just one of the horse stall mats that we cut into two that we put on the side. Uh, so that you can have your platform in the middle and you can drop the weights on the rubber parts of the platform right there. And basically, uh, that's the platform, pretty simple. We just screwed it in. Um, I think we also glued the rubber part too. Oh wait, no, those are, those are actually not even glued. Just everything's just screwed in. Okay, so that's the platform. Uh, to get the logo, shout out to Angel, <laughs> who uh, helped me put this logo together. He's kind of a graphic designer guy that I know. Uh, and then also we stained, or I stained this this part of the platform as well so that it had this that shiny effect um, and it's also more dur durable. Uh, so it's, you know, both looks better and it's more functional to have the staining on there. So really love how the platform came out. I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit more of this view of the home gym, just kind of backing up so you can see what it looks like, uh, but pretty sick. Pretty awesome that I've got this in my apartment and anytime it's like, um, you know, a holiday or there's any sort of like extreme weather outside, like I've been iced in before and then the home gym came in handy, um, but pretty sick to have this set up whenever I need it. And then you can see right here, it's basically right next to my work setup. So just everything is super functional in here <laughs> and pretty awesome. So that's the home gym from every angle. My kitchen's right here. Oh yeah, and then also, really great to have a mirror. You definitely wanna have a mirror in your home gym just because you know you wanna be able to see your pump that you're getting, but also to check form on things as well. So it's both you know, for your own vanity and for a functional reason as well. But that's the home gym. And that is really it guys. So I appreciate you joining me on my home tour, or my home gym. Uh, I've spent about, just to give you guys kind of the financials of it, I've spent about $6,000 in total. Some stuff is not in here. It's actually in storage right now because I couldn't fit it in my apartment. Uh, but I've spent about, spent about $6,000 in total on my home gym. Again, kind of like I said along the way, you don't need to even have as much as I do. You can be pretty minimal with it, but this is my job and my career. I'm a personal trainer, online coach. So, you know, I invest a lot in this and it's been worth it for me and I plan to invest a lot more as well. So, hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you're new and you're just kind of coming in looking at, um, you know, if you're interested in home gyms and stuff like that. But a lot of my content is actually very practical and, you know, fitness information and motivational content like that. So, definitely subscribe to the channel. Glad to have you. I appreciate you guys and you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So peace out.